Okay, so at the start of every season, we get a dump of like all the leaks of all the transfers and stuff. So I'm going to be going through all that today. All of this comes from the uh, Iron Core Discord server. So if you want updates for the leaks for yourself, go join that. You know, aside from Super Saiyan, Broly, Full Power, we've got, hang on, let's see real quick. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven other transfers coming, which is interesting. And that goes as this, you know, you've got Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, uh, Future Saga. You got the Rage Trunks as well. For some reason, they're separate. I don't know why, but like, sure. M might as well, might as well milk it. Why not? We have Super Saiyan Gogeta, which is a bit weird. Like, I didn't think he'd be this season, I'm not gonna lie. We got Base Goku Black, Rose Goku Black, Base Vegito, and Vegito Blue. So, we're gonna go over all their uh, all their super attacks and passives that they come with, starting with um, Rose. So, so for Rose's first super attack is the Scythe one. He does a, you, you lunge forward and you do a little Scythe barrage. I don't know why they gave this to survivors. But they didn't give it to Rose. It pains me so, so much. But it's really cool. Like, I can't even lie. Like, this is a sick super attack. And I don't know if it's going to be good. But, like, I mean, it should be. I'm not going to lie. Melee supers like this, they're always, like... They're not amazing, but they're pretty good. Like, so yeah, this is going to be a cool addition to the game. I'm excited for it to come out. Um, Rose also comes with a super black Kamehameha. Which is just a Kamehameha, which is... Yeah, I don't know. It looks a bit uh, mid. Probably like a three-star super, I'm not going to lie. Probably the thing that you'll get guaranteed most of the time on his banner. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he also comes with a passive. Oh, he... Okay, so there is a key sense active as well for survivors. I'm going to assume that is Rose's. Or um, base Goku Black's. I mean, that's interesting. I mean, maybe if you combine this with... Um, um, King Kai's, I can't remember the name, his, his active, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, maybe if you combine that, you can like, maybe have a UAV set up, have eyes on the radar at all times. But the thing is with this key sense is that I'm not sure of it, like, we're not sure if it works for all the survivors yet, so we'll see. It might be just for you, which would be a bit useless, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, his passive, so it seems like... Like, we only have the names and what they do, not who it's actually for, but I'm pretty sure it's like, either I've come for you, Divinity Incarnate, and Memories of Battle. I think that's it. So, Memories of Battle does, this is, this could be for Goku Black as well, as well, like the base Goku Black. Base Goku Black just comes with a Black Kamehameha, and, hang on, let me look, let me look, just, just yeah, literally a Black Kamehameha and a super uh, Black Kamehameha, they look... They look all right, actually. He said, nah, Super Kamehameha Black doesn't look that good. But the, the normal one looks fine. Like, it could be good. Um, anyway, let me read off these passages real quick. So, Memories of Battle restores cooldown. Cooldown time for Dragon Change as soon as your barrier breaks. And they actually recently just got the percentage of that. So, oh, and oh, okay. Memories of Battle is Goku Black Base. My bad. So, basically... When you um, lose your barrier, you'll get 25% at base and 30% at plus 20. So plus 20 kind of maybe a bit of a waste. We'll see. But I'm interested to see if this will activate on something like bar. Because, like, wouldn't it be pretty funny if you could just, like, farm um, Dragon Change off bar? Like, <laughs> bar nerfs incoming, guys. Oh, my goodness. And Divinity Incarnate. Um, this Rosé's passive, it reduces close range attack damage by 10% at base and 15% at 20. Um, seems kind of mid, not gonna lie. I don't think that'll have much of a... I, melee damage does, it's just crazy anyway, so I don't know if it will help too much, but hey, maybe you're going for level 4, it'll be kind of goaded. You don't know, but Memories of Battle seems pretty interesting. It could be... I don't know, 30% is nothing to be, it's nothing to laugh at, you know, it could be kind of goaded. We'll see though, we'll see. And if bar actually works, that'd be really funny. Because I could just see a bunch of, like, if you're a pre-made, I could just see it, like, SDM. SDM's out, and I could just see a bunch of people, like, lining up bar to attack them. It'd be quite funny. But obviously that's only on dangerous grounds, but, you know. You know, you know, it's still, it's still the fault. So, next I'm going to talk about Trunks. He has, it, from what it looks like, 
he has no super attacks, which is weird. I, maybe it's like not found or something, but he's got to have like sort of hope, right? They can't not add that to the game. I'd be so disappointed. But what we do have from him is a refrigerator skill where you bust out a refrigerator and everyone starts drinking sodas. And I mean, like when they drink it, they get like blue aura. I don't know, like, is it dragon change they're getting back, or is it like their barrier, or blah 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 blah? I don't, I don't know, but it looks ridiculous. Like, this looks overpowered. If this does a lot, if this gives you a lot of change, I'm kind of scared. Cause imagine a whole rob lobby running this. I mean, it's a five star active. It's got to be. So, you maybe, I hope everyone gets unlucky, and or maybe it's just like really not worth it, but. We'll see, from, but it looks scary from, from what it looks like. It looks pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie, so we will see. But yeah, that's Trunks, for now. I hope he has super attacks, Jesus Christ, could you imagine? Okay, now on to Vegito. He has free super attacks, which is kind of crazy, of course. You know, Vegito, of course he gets the most love. But first, we have Finish Breaker. I'm not gonna lie, this looks horrible this looks like it will not be good i don't know unless it has some insane properties um looks really bad oh so yeah maybe that's probably like for base for geo or something i don't know i don't know uh, next up is split finger shot it looks fine i don't it looks quirky though so i don't think it'll be very good but it looks cool i, I won't lie that startup looks kind of cool like where he flicks his hand back and stuff but the hitbox is very narrow so, and it looks, it, I don't know, it just looks weird, so it might also be mid, but, you know, the one we've always, we've been waiting for, um, Final Kamehameha, that looks good, dude, I mean, we, we've used it in-game, it's really good, like, the hitbox is kind of crazy on it, I won't lie, but, the only thing, like, bad about it, I'd say, is probably the start-up, but everything else is great, I doubt it would do the same amount of damage as Vegito, um, Transfer, so it might end up being mid anyway, but if you're a Vegito fan, at least you have like one decent super attack. So be thankful, I guess. Gogeta stays on top with his two good ones and one terrible one. At least if it, like Vegito is looking like all for all three are stinkers. So Gogeta is once again proven best fusion. <laughs> <laughs> but base Vegito comes with a um, a passive unparalleled fusion. So, Dragon Change Limit Drain is doubled, Super Limit Cost is doubled, Damage Dealt about um, is increased by 50%. They're not sure actually, they might, as they said, it might be 25, but that sounds kind of, kind of crazy. Like, maybe level 1 build stay on top, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I, I, like, imagine how much of, like, you know, you get a few souls and maybe this passive and it's just like a, a Super Spirit Bomb. Gotta be doing like three bars, right? 50%. If it is 50%, that's nuts. So, yeah, if you're a level one fan, maybe save for base for Geo because he's, he's got it, man. He's got it. Um, we have Super Saiyan Gogeta. Weird choice, I won't lie, for season five. Like, what? Like what? He doesn't even, he doesn't fit anyway. I'm pretty sure it's from um, Fusion Reborn as well. Let me look at the art real quick. I don't know. Yeah, he is from Fusion Reborn because he's um, the color of his stuff is DBZ and not Dragon Ball Super. So very weird choice for the Goku Black season, you know, but he comes with a passive. We don't know if he comes with any new super attacks. Um, I hope he does because I don't know. Super Gogeta has source, man. He deserves it, but we don't know what his... Um, his uh, passive does, it's just called I've Come For You. Oh wait, actually hang on. Oh, we do know what it does. We do know what it does, uh, my bad. It is, it restores your barrier when you dragon change. Mm. And it says it can't be used with um, Power Unleash, but it might come, it might come out bugged, knowing the breakers dev, so. I mean, it could be good if it does work with Power Unleash. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm, I'm glazing, this shit sucks. I'm not even gonna lie. Restores your barrier when you dragon change. That's stupid. Why would you like auto barrier recovery is just infinitely better, right? Am I crazy for this? But I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just a better auto barrier recovery. But 
Nah, I don't. Nah, they did. They did my boy wrong. They did my boy wrong. But there is another pa passive called Warrior of Hope. That might be Gogeta or Vegito. Um, or Trunks. God, it could be for any one of those. I'm not even joking. Um, increases limit gauge based on number of allies removed from the game. Reduces limit gauge amount if there aren't that many allies out of the game. It just sounds good. I mean, everyone loves the soul passive. Like, everyone's going to love this passive. Listen, being extra tanky when everyone's dead. That's what you love to see, you know. I, I'm pretty sure it will affect super transfers as well and stuff like that. So, sounds sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. But yeah, there's only one more passive. Movement speed boost ice. And <laughs> that could be anyone. And honestly, who cares? Uh, but yeah, that is everything to do with the transfers. That's all their super attacks and passives that we know of. I hope that there's more when it comes to, like, trunks and rage trunks. Because, I mean, if they don't add um, sort of hope kind of a massive fumble i'm not gonna lie breakers but it is what it is um i'm excited for most of these especially goku black and vegeto because their passives and actives sound pretty good so does trunks as well trunks could be interesting trunks could be terrible for the game the survivor meta but we'll see we'll see what it does we don't know what it does so I'm, i may be uh freaking out for no reason but i'm definitely super attack most hypeful is uh goku black scythe and the passive I'm most excited for is Vigio's like 50% um, damage increase because I feel like that just sounds like a fun one. Uh, we do get a banner on the 15th or the announcement of a banner on the 15th. So look out for that. Who do you think it's going to be? Let me know. Let me know who you're most excited for. Yay. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.